G'day guys, Optimic Prime here. Got a sweet review today. Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Bulkhead. I'm looking forward to this because Bulkhead is probably my favorite character out of the whole Prime series. I mean, I am an Optimus Prime fan, but Bulkhead's a very close second place, if not first, just because he's funny and dim-witted. As a reference today, I'm going to be comparing him to Voyager class Bulkhead. I'm looking forward to comparing the two, see how they turn out. Have a quick look at the box here. There's a little... He hasn't really got a bio. A lot of them have bios. He's just got like a bit of a one-liner sentence about him. Comes with the spinning dragon grinder. Weapon attaches to vehicle and robot mode. The armored truck mode is looking pretty epic, to be honest. It's got the mud tires and the big bulldozer grills sort of thing. So yeah, let's see how he goes. Uh, we'll rip him out of the box and get into it. Okay, now we've got this bad boy out of the box. I'm really liking this. There's a few things I don't really like, but I think that's outweighed by the things I do like, to be honest. For size comparison, like I said before, I've got my Voyager class bulkhead there. I'm gonna put him right up the back. Right up the back so you can get him into the shot. If I put them side by side, you can you can actually see quite a difference in height, quite a difference in size. Let's turn him sideways. Yeah, he's got a, they got about the same sort of, same size backpack. If if you want to call it a backpack, I think it's just bulkhead being bulkhead. Now, the paint apps are pretty epic. The fact that they were able to get the little blue grill in the side there, the blue lines on the front there, there is just, there's just so much color. It's, yeah, all right, it's majority green, but they match the green so well. Yeah, I'm liking that quite a lot. I like how he's got quite a lot of body armor on him. He's got this big face guard here, chin guard here. Almost looks like a, a knight from the round table. He's got this, oh uh, yeah, this bit, I'm, I'm still debating on the hood, the roof. Oh, that's closed up on me there. Yeah, I get it, like, protect his head from dragons, dragon attacks, but, meh. If they could got if they could have got rid of that or moved it around the back some more, I wouldn't be complaining about it. But in a way, yeah, I kind of do like it. I'm still, I'm still, I'm an iron about this. It's, it's got its positives and negatives, which is weird. The arms looking pretty awesome. Got the armor plating on the sides. Now I like the novelty of this. How it's like, oh, it's a spinning saw but it doesn't work 100%. You gotta really push it fast and hold it down and it spins for quite a while. Bah, he should have had a gun or a big hammer or something like that. Uh, yeah, you can, you can put it in his hand like that, but it sort of only just holds in there, barely. And to me, it doesn't look like he should be holding it like, like that, it doesn't look right. To me, it should be mounted on the back of the arm so you can be doing like the sideways gangster shots. I want my little torchy here. And if I do that, you can see his, see his light piping. Yeah, I don't know when you're ever gonna use that, but it is a, a nice little novelty that they put in. I'll get into articulation quickly. The head, if I can, I can move that up out of the way, but it does look a bit silly up there. Head's got some decent articulation, not a mammoth amount, but it does have some articulation there. The shoulder has a nice ball joint in it. It is hindered sort of halfway. It's designed to go that way. If you have it around here, it, you can't put his arm down. There's a swivel right below that, but I have noticed that sort of gets stiff at some points 
if you want to, if it's up here and you want to try and move it, oh, you spun the whole ball joint around instead. So you've got to move it to there, lock it down like that, and then you can spin it and the ball joint stays where you left it. Pivot for the elbow. Oh, there's a shoulder up there too. Didn't mention that. And the wrists have not much movement at all. Leg, uh, nice loose ball joint there. Quite a range there, quite a range of movement, especially for the big clums or bulkhead. Uh, swivel right below that, so you can get his leg all the way around. And big clunky knee joint. Big clunky knee joint that moves, but it's very stiff to move it. So close that back. Close that back up so we can get him back in his. He almost looks like a turtle there. Yeah, especially from the side or behind with this giant shell like feature to it. Yeah, the backpack is quite big, but it's bulkhead. Alright, let's uh, have a look at him in vehicle mode and see how we go. And with the power of video editing, voila, here we have him. Okay, there is a lot I like about this, and to be honest, I can't really find much I don't like. I'm going to start with the paint. The paint looks awesome. It's this orange and, orange and green army jungle camo look to it which it's not really a camo like the camouflage look but it's got that jungle vibe to it it's also got these color blemishes all the way through it looks like you know battle markings like discolorations and things like that and i know that's not a problem with the paint apps because i have beast hunters wheeljack here and he's white and he's got these big black blemishes all over him. Uh, it's mainly on the bonnet and sort of nowhere else on the side, but oh, it's also on his wings here too, the dark black blemishes. This, to be honest with you, actually looks like a Toyota FJ Cruiser. The big clunky four-wheel drive, two-door, one, two, with the little window at the back and the funny looking boot. It reminds me a lot of an FJ Cruiser, the new one, not the old one, that is. The front bumper, the front bull bar with the big anteater catches on it. That's pretty, pretty epic, in my opinion, with the, with the all-terrain, you know, muddy tires on it. Mainly, the only gripe I have with it is you can see his hands underneath. This is the Deluxe. It's not meant to be the most expensive top of the line one but I don't know how they could have hid them I don't think they can underneath here you can see all the space is basically filled up there's not much left except for this kind of gap here between the front wheels but other than that other than the hands I can't really can't really fault it in my opinion it looks good it looks great now, for size comparisons, there is Voyager Class Bulkhead Prime, not the Beast Hunters version, just the Prime version. And they are extremely similar. They are the same two-door with the funny back window and this little boot. The Voyager Class having a smaller front door and a bigger back area. The Deluxe having the bigger back door and the smaller area. But other than that, the Voyager is slightly bigger, slightly, in vehicle mode. I like how they've sort of matched the front end with them. The same bull bar front end, the same headlight shapes. I mean, it, they've gone to make this, they've really, really tried to make this one look similar to this one. And in my opinion, they've succeeded without making it the identical copy so yeah I'm liking them a lot underneath you don't see his hands on this one but it's a completely different transformation this one is actually quite a lot easier this one actually took me sort of less than five minutes not even to quickly bundle it up so 
I would suggest this one for a kid. Now, as for his weapon, which I showed you in robot mode, it's sort of useless on the side, but on the top it could serve a purpose. You can put it up there if it beasts, you know, if a dragon's flying towards you, yah, yah, do the thing, yah. Yeah, all right, you get the picture. All right, guys, once again, Optimic Prime signing out. Please let me know if you actually enjoy my videos. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Yeah, any feedback's always good feedback. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.